I started out as a freelance writer and um, I remember I got my first important gig that was semi-permanent as an independent contractor, a freelance writer, was with the LA Times to write a column four times a month, $200 a week, and that was the difference between me getting by and not getting by. So my experience professionally for 20 years is about organizing freelancers, and so from a business standpoint, what I saw was this incredible network, network of very talented filmmakers who were waiting in line for the next big shoot on television, and in between were waiting tables, uh, or they're being told, upload your stuff for free and maybe you'll make some money. And having been a freelancer, we said, no, we're going to pay filmmakers, we're going to pay them the going wage, and we're going to try to keep them regularly busy with more and more work. So Brad, since the last time you appeared on Beat TV, you've taken on some new corporate clients. My question is, how have you adopted the Turn Here style to the realm of industrial corporate videos? Our corporate work is not a big part of our work, but is an example, Intercontinental Hotel. Um, they came to the conclusion that you know one big major television ad that says the same thing over and over again, shooting at us you know through the television waves over and over and over again was worked, but the internet was about search, useful information, but at the same time they wanted to extend their brand into this new medium. So they came to us and said, we'd like to shoot some videos. We think of our hotels and locations around the world. They have 140 of them. And we said, you know, what if we use the turn here style and took your concierge in these cities, uh, whether it's Singapore or Berlin or Santiago, Chile, let's take them and have them give us a tour of not the hotel. Everyone's got thousand count sheets, but you know, where's the good places to eat? Where's the good places to go out? What are some things you got to see around the city where uh, the hotel's located? So we use the concierge to be the narrator. Again, local trustworthy, you know, character to give that kind of authentic experience. So it's not like we're shooting corporate video as much as we created for them these stories, these micromedia that are searchable on the web that people can find and find useful information. So what's next for Turn Here? I understand you're experimenting with some new publishing platforms. If I'm not mistaken, you just opened a YouTube channel? Yeah, we created, uh, we realized YouTube was a search engine for video. Um, I've always contended that Google bought YouTube not because it was video, uh, or even because it was user generated. It was a search engine for the next you know, wave of content, which is video. And so we looked at YouTube as this powerful search engine. So as the early days of search generally, if you had a web page, you'd want to get it indexed and get it up there quickly. So we created a channel uh, on YouTube. We created a real estate uh, playlist. We created a travel playlist, a local merchant playlist. We have all our videos up there, you know, very searchable and accessible. And there's a lot of user-generated tools on YouTube that make it powerful where people can register for your playlist, they can, uh, they can store it, they can send email messages, they can comment, they can rate them. And uh, we just begin to do this and we're, you know, already take the small merchant videos or the neighborhood videos. They're getting a lot more streams than if we just, uh, you know, done it from our own destination site.